According to a political analyst, Amana wants to court former Malacca Chief Minister Idris Harun and two other former state assemblymen, as the party is desperate to boost its standing among Malay voters. Awang Asman Pawi of University Malaya said that Amana, a splinter party of PAS, was currently dependent on PKR and TAP supporters in Malacca, whereas Idris was seen to have good support among the Malay voters. However, the party should not be too hasty in trying to recruit Idris into Pakatan Harapan, he said. Amana forgets that Idris's support base hinges on AMNO members. When Idris was sacked from AMNO, its members would automatically stop supporting him, Awang Asman told FMT. In fact, without the Barisan national emblem, Idris cannot even guarantee a win in his own constituency, he said. Yesterday, PKR Vice President Rafizi Ramli said Amana President Mohamed Sabu and Vice President Adli Zahari were among PH leaders who wanted to accept three of the four assemblymen whose actions against the former state government had forced an early Malacca state election. Awang Azman said this revelation showed that Amana was desperate for Malay votes, to the point that it was willing to sacrifice PH's long-term fate for its own short-term gains. He warned that accepting the Malacca trio into PH would affect its reputation and even cause reformists in the coalition to doubt its struggle. The younger generation could also turn away in favour of other alternatives like Muda or Parti Kwasa Ragya, he said. James Chin of the University of Tasmania's Asia Institute said it was no longer a question of ethics now for PH but purely about ensuring a victory in the Malacca election. He told FMT that some people might be angry if PH accepted these frauds, particularly the middle to upper class, but most Malaysians would be more concerned about whether the government could deliver. Sheen also acknowledged that there might be discontent against Anwar Ibrahim in the coalition if he accepts the trio, especially among those who backed Warisan President Shafi Abdal to be the Prime Minister once.